It could be a bit brighter. Let me know how that looks. Look. Better, worse. Does it look the same? <laughs> It is a little dark, isn't it? I'll be right back. There you go, brighten it up a little bit. In a perfect world, I have lights on the left and the right side. Um, so you see some shadows there on the uh, left and right. It's a little bit darker. Um, but I can't get those lights uh, you know, in a mobile setting. Uh, it's kind of tough. But I think it looks pretty good now. Nice and bright. I can see all the ships, details. Things are looking good. So Nate's being consistent. He's taking that same uh, same setup as last time. One, two, three, four there. Oh, he's got that big open space in the middle there. It's going to be really, really easy for him to just kind of loop-de-loop -loop around those rocks. But I think it's the same for same for Miranda. I mean, these this rock setup is uh, is really good for both. So Nicholas Tobin is uh, is a squadron member here at the Wandering Dragon. Not sure if they actually have a squadron name. Um, Nate Moore is one of our gold squadron members out of past times. But uh, I am good friends with Nicholas as well. I wish them both the luck, and I'm going to do my best job to uh, be as unbiased as possible. I just want to see a good game. Nicholas does have the same challenges that uh, Dan's Dan squad has uh, last game is that he does not have while he, while he does have regen he does not have auto thrusters and he has low agility so TLTs if they start hitting uh, things can go bad very quickly. I don't remember. Was uh, was their game on the stream earlier today? 
just remind me, I was busy playing, so I just kind of punched in names and, and left the computer alone. Nicholas is just triple checking those dials. We should have the green light here pretty soon. He is triple, quadruple checking that. Really want to make sure that there's no uh, <laughs> no shenanigans there with the uh, with the dials. All right, little fist bump <laughs> on the handshake and uh, I know Nicholas I know Nicholas was on earlier I know Nate was on earlier I just don't remember if it was them playing each other alrighty so Nate's going nice and casual to start off he's not turning away um, when I saw Nand when I recorded Nand playing this list you can see his games on the gold squadron podcast youtube page um nand would always turn away in that first turn and come around the outside to start uh taking some time to bank up those focuses on ray and really make sure that those plasma torpedoes hit hard have those mods Oh, there it is. I mean, this is this is textbook um, from what I saw in Nan's games when I recorded them. Um, he's turning away. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna have what? He's gonna end up with three, maybe four focus tokens. Uh, Ray just feeding feeding Ray and allowing Miranda just to uh, to to feed feed her action economy. Nicholas has always been one that he can uh, usually put those dials down pretty quickly. I've seen him play a lot. We're uh, waiting for Nate here to put his dials down. I wonder if hmm. I know Nicholas wants to keep Miranda in the Bigs bubble, but I wonder if Nate if uh, he could get a jump on Nicholas by breaking apart his formation and flying two Y wings uh, separate from each other, kind of making uh, two two fronts. But uh, from the flipping of those dials, they're all going to be together. He, he is, he's gonna let Nicholas come to him. We're gonna see another two turn here out of Nicholas. Um, just waiting to get into that TLT range. So I'm curious to know if when they played last time, if Nate was real aggressive. So now we're seeing Nate go real conservative. Um, looks like those dials are moving. Not the dials, excuse me. Those ships are moving at the uh, same time here. Everybody moves together. Hard twos. Focusing. And Miranda's going to focus and move it to Ray.
So we'll see what Nicholas does here. Nicholas is definitely going to want to get that torpedo off in the opening engagement. Um, but uh, Nate needs to decide whether he's going to do that forward one again. Uh, keep it nice and slow. I, I don't think the forward one is a bad idea. Because uh, if Nicholas comes slow, he has a rock there. Even if he banks, if Nicholas banks in with Miranda, he's got a rock there. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Definitely a big risk that, uh, well, I guess, hmm, four, five, well, five dice torpedo. Uh, he can kill him. He can definitely kill a wild wing in one turn. Oh, there it is. He's, he's going to be methodical. Nice and slow. Those gold squadron wild wings just ready ready to get in range. This is the final round. We are, this is the end. This is the final. Yep, yep, one forward, nice and slow. I think that's the right, the right choice. guys I'd like your opinion here does give me a one if you think Nate should start making a move to the left give me a two if you think he should continue straight with the one forward or a three if you think he should start moving to the right what do you think what should Nate's y-wing formation do here Nicholas is going to have to be careful with his next formation for sure. Um, with that formation, excuse me, his next dial choosing. Um, this is going to be the the decision maker right here. So it looks like people are definitely um, of the opinion that we should not go towards um, Nicholas. At most, we go forward and uh, have, uh, have him to our side or we turn away. I think the risk with the turn away is if Nicholas turns in, um, he might have, Nate might have two of his Y wings out of range and not be able to uh, get all eight of those dice rolls against Biggs in one turn. I wouldn't, I wouldn't not be surprised to see another forward one out of Nate. Um, Nicholas here, I mean, he has the two turn. I'm telling you, this is like, uh, getting deja vu from uh, Nan's game and on this turn right here Nan did a two hard in he had a nice opening all right let's see what he's gonna doing oh there's there's the forward one um, if Miranda turns in here he probably probably has range on the Y wing we'll have to find out here Well, the question is if she'll have range in arc for the torpedo. <laughs> Nate having some fun there. So he hides Biggs behind the rock. I think that's a good choice here. Miranda, if uh, Miranda follows suit, she probably has a torpedo here. So I think what the rock does is that it gives Biggs a fighting chance. And we got like uh, four, well it's going to be three dice for Biggs. Uh, Miranda choosing. She's going to get ready for that target lock. Let me tell you... Um, I mean, take take the front Y wing, right? Now the 
looks like we took target lock on number. That would be Y wing number three. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Plasma torpedo. It is probably an obstructed shot. I think he declared the back uh, Y wing or something. I'm not sure. Um, all right, that's five hits. I was digging for a crit there with M M9 G8. One, two, three, four damage there. So uh, that could have been worse. That could have been worse, but most likely this Y wing could eat it. We'll have to see what happens. That was Y wing number three. One more damage on the Y wing. Trying to determine range. That's close. Do determine range three. And we got just power revo it's a blank so spent the focus so the y wing spends his focus to take no damage uh, that was good that y wing definitely could have died No damage on the first one. All right, looks like that was uh, one hit, two focuses, so no damage there. Yeah, not not sure on the target lock. I don't have table audio. Um, Mr. Zug Zugor. That's one shield on Biggs. Another damage on Biggs. Those shields are gone. Dodges that one. That's the first card. One hit there. To renovate, last final, final salvo. And that is another damage on Biggs. Biggs effectively has two hole left, one from the integrator astromech and uh, one from the hole remaining. So with that engagement there, um, who's won, who's lost, uh, it's tough to say. So neither, n neither of the players got to do what they wanted to do, right? So Nate in a perfect world would have been able to kill Biggs. Nicholas uh, in a perfect world would be able to take out one of those Y wings. Uh, instead, uh, he's going to have to waste more shots uh, to get w that hurt Y wing uh, out of here. Now, if I know Nate, uh, I've seen him play a lot. 
he's going to try to peel off that Y wing. Um, he's going to try to peel off that Y wing, um, but I don't know if he actually should. You know, keep it in the formation, let it soak up a shot, and um, don't let Miranda get into range one. I mean, he's probably he should turn away here, right? Is that is that what we're thinking here? Uh, one, if you want him to turn in. Two, if you want him to turn away. The question is, can Nate turn away fast enough? Because he's going to get stuck at range one. Now he'll be able to get Miranda and Biggs. Looks like Nick can probably do the two left turn here. But he kind of put himself in an awkward spot. I like that he put Biggs behind the rock. I think that was a smart move. Very smart move. He was able to get the torpedo off, and he got him extra dice. And those extra dice definitely made a big difference. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and as All right, here we go. Dials are down. Flipping them, they're all going the same way, and they're going two away. I think that's a smart idea. <laughs> that Y wing's gonna be. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Raven Cat, that's that's a good idea. Um, peel out. Oops. Sloppy play. Fix it. Um, is it low? I'm so sorry. I can turn it up. Is that better? Let me know. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me before. I was talking low um, because we are really, really close to the competitors there. Oh, looks like Jess is on the rock there. Range one, Nicholas takes a risk there. <laughs> one shield there on uh, on Jess going through that. Uh, oh shit! I just sorry guys. The damage just got messed up. I just click uh, refresh squad. I can fix it though. Update and Jess lost a shield. There we go. Sorry about that. It definitely was a ballsy move. Um, I'm going to go double check to make sure it's actually on the rock. It looks like it. Um, but let me go double check. Confirmed it is on the rock. So Miranda and Biggs turn in here. Biggs is still behind that rock. Um, Biggs will, I think, we can say definitely die this turn. Um, but I think that uh, other Y-Wing, Y-Wing number two, uh, will be biting the dust here in a minute. Plasma Torp. Looks like this is, is this a different Y-Wing? is gone. Miranda didn't have to spend a shield to uh, to pump that up, so there was no need. I guess Miranda is technically down a shield. Let's update that. 
Wild Wing is dead. That was why it was Wild Wing. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. This is Biggs through a hit crit, range three. Spend it for one shield. I don't know if that's the right choice, though. He should. I think he should have saved it for the attack. One shield. Second shot. Okay, next one, same target. So he's gonna pop the droid there before we take that last damage. Accidental dropping of dice. Uh, Biggs is gone. Alrighty. So I'm really curious. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Let's not worry about. It. So Biggs is gone. Now Miranda, Miranda is out of torpedoes. The torpedoes are gone. Uh, Auto blaster turret still has cluster mines and ion bombs. Um, but with those uh, with those Y wings facing away, Miranda is not going to get an opportunity to really use those bombs unless Nicholas does something really creative. Did he remember the bomb? There it is. He does remember the seismic charge. Even though that's a thermal detonator. But <laughs> they're the same size. Same deal, right? Alrighty. Cause yeah, I don't unless Miranda has to peel away in order to avoid the bomb. Jess, I don't think she can. We'll see what happens. Wyoming is moving far away. Deciding on that action. <laughs> Bomb gate. <laughs> Oh, no, I think Jess can get out of here. I think Jess can get out of it. Uh, she's going to have to boost. Have to use action on a boost, but she can get out of it. Oh, Jess is going to have a range, juicy range one shot. Whoops. What is happening right now? Oh, the bomb got picked back up. The bomb got picked up, so they are reversing uh, the Y wing so they can drop it in the right spot. There we go. Now that the bomb is fixed. Gonna attempt that boost to the left. Does it bump? Nope, that doesn't face. He's gonna have to go forward one. All right, so 
Jess is going to be able to really pound <laughs> on uh, on that outside Y wing there. Miranda does a nice casual one forward. He's just going to avoid the bomb. Nicholas called the bomb. He call he called it, called it, called it, called it. Great job. Very nice, Nicholas. Good job avoiding the bombs. All right. Yes, number one is the one that's taking a shield. Nicholas was asking which one's damaged. So he's not going to be able to focus fire any of them, but... Okay, one crit on the Y wing. It's gonna have two dice here. All right, he got the one, and here comes Jess. Four dice, range one. Two hits, not too bad. That could have been worse. Two hits on number four. So teal tearing Miranda though in reality doesn't matter too much with the regen. Alrighty, we take one shield off of Miranda. Add one, take one. All stats are updated. Raven Cat, Bomb Gate. <laughs> stop trying to stop, stop causing problems. <laughs> now with with Jess like all over these Y wings. I mean, Nate, I think has the 4K. That's a good possibility here. And just try to leverage that primary without uh, without actions though. Um, Jess is probably gonna go aggressive, but with the boost, he doesn't really have to. He can probably just do the too hard and then boost if necessary. And while we're waiting here, I would like to say happy Father's Day to all of the awesome fathers out there. Um, I'm a father myself, and uh, it's amazing. And a huge thank you for, to my wife for um, supporting the Gold Squadron podcast. I'll tell you guys, without her, this content would not exist. So a um, huge thank you to to her and um, being a great, uh, great wife that supports X-Wing. Yeah, Norm, the... I'm going to have to talk really quiet because it is really quiet in that room over there. Uh, let me know if you guys can still hear me. Um, the one bank from the Y-Wings is not a bad idea and be able to pelt. Um, oh, here it goes. This is the decision right here. Too hard to the right. 
Hmm. He's deciding on the action. Looks like some sloppy play um, causes a bump there. That should not have happened. When you're flying a formation, guys, you gotta gotta keep uh, keep those maneuvers tight. Oh, he calls the one bank. This is going to hurt. If if Nate, uh, yep, then I don't know if you guys can hear. Nate just said I thought he was gonna do a hard two to the left. Um, um, Miranda is slamming in, trying to avoid the TLTs. Looks like probably the top line we will get her. I'm gonna go move the camera so you guys can see better. there is able to get us a, a little bit better picture there uh, nice and zoomed in on the corner of engagement I didn't think about the dice shit oh, thank you Nicholas three hits spend the focus I'm gonna go zoom that out I can't see anything <laughs> uh, looks like some cards I'm not sure what happened Alrighty, guys. I'm going to update these uh, values here. Miranda did lose all of her shields in that last attack and got received the card. Um, that arc was on Jess Pava, and Jess Pava lost a shield. Take a look at the Y Wings. I took a picture of them. Oh, yeah. 
One wing number one is taking one shield. Number two is untouched. Number three is dead. Number four has taken one card. There we go. All squad values are updated. Sorry about the delay on the uh, the update there. I was uh, messing with the camera so we can get a better picture. And I zoomed in too much. Now with the positioning here, uh, the the ball has definitely shifted into Nicholas's court here. Um, even even if Nate tries to go for some blocks here or something like that. Um, He's gonna, he's gonna be eating some shots from Jess. Uh, Jess is gonna do a hard two, I think for sure. Um, Nate doesn't have any room on that other side of the table. I do, I don't think he has room to K turn. Um, I think the. I mean, what do you think? Does the does the does the three right bank fit on the board there, or does it go off? It's hard to judge. Hmm. We'll have to see. I know it would be only one damage, but the uh, Y wing number four does still have a seismic charge in the. Uh, oh my! No, it doesn't. I wasted it. Never mind, because it's dead. It was number three, so no more bombs. Or maybe he spreads them all out. Maybe he goes something like uh, does. Uh, with the lead one does a hard right three, and that's red, but um, the back one does a forward one, and the middle one does a two. From Nicholas here, I expect Miranda to do a forward one. It is the safest move, and uh, you could guarantee, um, I think, a shot with that auto blaster. Or maybe even just the, uh, the one bank to the right. And Jess doesn't uh, doesn't want to get stuck. He, you can see Nicholas here. He's uh he's flip flopping between some moves here. Three turns would be good, for sure. Three turns would be good. Um, but Nate Nate really needs those focus tokens so he can start ripping through Miranda's shields. I mean I know that. Uh, Miranda only has four hole left, but you g he's going to need four out of the six of those TLTs to hit on Miranda. Yeah, Norm, uh, the, the turnaround here is, is not a bad idea either. The K-turn, he has the space for sure. We know that. Well, you got to remember that uh, this ray does not have does not have advanced land, so it's gonna have to do it with the moves. I'm not sure if Miranda can really get in front of those Y wings. All right. All right. So the other Y wing, first Y wing moved and bumped purposefully. Does a two bank. So he's trying to spread his guys out. Man, if if Jess does a K turn, that Y wing is wrecked. Oh, we'll see what happens. Oh, Norm, you're right. Yeah, that's true. 
get prepared for the bombing room. Deciding whether to target lock or not. Just doing that same move. Call it. What are you? Talent rule? What are you? What is he doing? Oh, hard to. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, nah. wow! I'm that really surprises me from Nicholas. Really surprises me. Uh, Miranda coming in here. Oh man, Nate's gonna have a range one shot. Mind you, no mods, so uh, doesn't. No, he did not. Bump. Oh, did he bump? Or is that Ray? No, he did not bump. That lead wagon's probably dead. There's four, four hole left. That is the fourth one there. If that lead wide wing lives, yeah, probably. I don't even know. Let's not see. Let's see what happens with the damage before we try start guessing next move. Two hits, auto blaster. Nothing you can do about that. Just pop a range one. Already, that Y wing's dead. gonna rip on uh range one here one damage card on Miranda that's not enough not enough yep Miranda, I think Miranda can just close this game out here. And we have uh, two mostly full Y wings, but uh, they're chit chatting on <laughs> what they thought was going to go happen in this next round. Um, well, that back Y wing, that back Y wing's going to bump, I think. Uh, to see if he can keep range on Miranda. Um, but with Miranda moving last, of course, you got that ion bomb uh, that can come into play. So hopefully Nate remembers the ion bomb uh, because if he bumps, there's a good chance that, though I'm pretty sure that the that following turn, um, that Y1 would be off the board. Yeah, I do agree that the, the back Y wing is in a bad spot for sure. Oh, that's a that's an interesting question there, uh Dan Zero. Um 
It depends on what move Nate dials in here. Um, I'll wait for Nicholas to to get off. There we go. Does the two bank land in front of the Jess? That's the question. Does the two bank land? Ah, uh, the, the three bank. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that three bank fits. It's pretty close to the edge there. Jess isn't really in a good spot either. Like if Jess goes off the board, two Y wings versus just Miranda, I think is a possibility. But if uh, if Nicholas can make sure that his make sure that his ship lives, should be, should be fine. And uh, before we we get uh are they are they set? Yeah, just a reminder everybody. Are they gonna s set those dials? Casual three. And Nate's really pushing for that distance, but Nate is, uh, Nicholas is all up in his grill. Casual two. Oh, looks like he would have had space for the three. I think he is going for the block here. If Miranda does a two bank as well, it's popping in range uh, range one auto blaster. Oh shit! Is that the talent roll? Nope. Oh, hard turn. Yeah, that was a that's a good move and that three bank that three bank I think would have blocked them. A couple of you were uh, were calling for that three bank. I think would have blocked them off the board. Pushes into range one, avoid the TLT. Miranda. And they're discussing if the uh, the three bank would have gotten the Jess off the board. Yeah, that three bank I think would have fit. Now it does look like a lot of room. <laughs> they're they're checking it just for shits and giggles here. Uh, you would have been on the board. Well, it is what it is. And there are the bombs. Two of the three hit. Let's see. He's going to roll those dice. See what happens. There's no Sabine, so I would probably... I uh, wouldn't be surprised if he just rolled all four at once. But we'll see. We'll see what Nate chooses to do. Only two of them hit. No 
was confirmed by the players. One shield on the first one. Double blanks. The one shield is not bad. And I think that is the first shield of damage that has happened to that Y Wing. Alright, regening a shield on Miranda. I'm gonna have to check um, damage here. Only one shield on Miranda. Well, it definitely looks like this game is swinging uh, Nicholas's way. I'm gonna go check on the Y Wing health. Be right back. Update some stats here. Uh, looks like I may have missed something on the on the first guy. He actually has taken. Oh, it's because of the just pop a shot. So he's taken. His shields are gone, and he's been dealt a card. There's four hole left on uh, Y wing number one, and Y wing number two is taking one shield. Where we got that. Yeah, in that engagement, Nate really wants. Nate really wanted at least to get one of the one extra card through there on Miranda, but um, uh, his positioning is is not very good, unfortunately. Like best case scenario, what? Um, maybe I would do a forward one, I think, with, uh, with the back Y wing to make sure you get an action. Maybe do a K turn with the front Y wing, but Nicholas, Nicholas is in a great spot. They're going to try to, uh, just try to get that Y wing off the board. The conservative, uh, conservative choice is to go forward one with Nicholas, but uh, I don't even know if he has to be that conservative with it. Jess is, you know, lost a couple shields, but no big deal. Miranda 
and with her regen ability can definitely still do some work. And even if he doesn't have a range 1 on either one of those, he could still regen. Um, but I think that's that's where he has to be careful, though, because if this Y-Wing lives and all four of those TLTs go off, uh, Miranda could be left on one health. Because I think no matter what, Nic Nicholas is going to regen a, uh, a shield here. And this is why Nate not getting a damage card into Miranda last turn is really going to hurt, because there's a, it is impossible for Nate to kill the Y-Wing. Excuse me, Nate to kill the, the K-Wing. Hopefully Nate did a forward one. We'll find out. You gotta remember you got TLTs. Let's see. He still hasn't placed that dial yet. It's a lot of double checking, triple checking. Proximity mines in the way. Not proximity mine, close to mine. Yeah, I think the. It looks like that. The angle is a little funky, but I think. Uh, I think a straight three fits. I think a. I think even a straight one avoids the mine, but straight two might be the safest move. Looks like a forward two to the bump. Oh, he does bump Jess. He doesn't hit the mine. Man, that forward three I think would have been better to be able to get that action. Turns, oh, okay, interesting. Turns away with a wild wing. And if Nicholas does the forward one, uh, here Nate's in a bad spot. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the three, uh, it looks like the three would have cleared. And not accounting for the forward one on Nate's part is going to put him in a spot where he cannot TLT Jess with both ships. And he won't, I mean, if Miranda does forward one, he won't be able to TLT with both of them either. Because the forward, um, the Y-Wing on the right will probably be dead. He drops an ion bomb uh, for good measure. He does the forward one. Funky angle, I guess, caused a bump, but it's not really a big deal. Because Ray, Ray is strong. So the Y wing is high on next turn. All right, auto blast turret. Here it comes. He's kind of regen the shield. Gonna one automatic damage. Cock die. And that's just his ability now. That's four hits. That Y Wing is annihilated.
So maybe that's that's pretty much the game. I don't. We'll see uh, if Nick just plays it out just for uh, just because. I have no idea. So Wild Wing is out. I was going one straight. Oh, and also the Miranda regen the shield last turn, so let's get that on there. Oh, I had already put it on. Alright, good. Nate giving uh, Nicholas some props for for the uh, the three turn that Jess made earlier. <laughs> a lot of us here were, uh, were were clamoring for the three bank uh, to protect from uh, from that three hard, and uh, Nate dialed in the wrong move. So as we close up this game, uh, I want to thank again everybody for watching the Gold Wider podcast stream. I really appreciate it. And um, if you like our content and you like our swag, I don't know if you've seen uh, what we got going on right now and what we've done, um, but we would really appreciate your patronage. You can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron and you can see all the cool uh, things we got coming up. We have done all kinds of different old art cards and uh, exclusive tokens and templates for our patrons and we would love your support there um, if you feel so inclined uh, if you would rather uh, do a one time donation just to uh, support the stream that's fine too shoot us an email at goldsquadronpodcast at gmail.com and I will send you a link um, that you can uh, directly send via PayPal uh, a donation And uh, so we got the T roll there from Jess Pava. We got another ion bomb. We're just walking the Y wing uh, where we want it. Uh, and if you haven't seen the alt art cards that we have coming up here, we have a well. This is actually perfect for the game. We have a Jess Pava um, alt art card being uh, being created right now. And also a Jakku Gunrunner. Um, we have the sketches posted on our Patreon already. And uh, as soon as I get final art, I'll be uh, releasing releasing that. But I will say that uh, I only order as many slots as we have. So if our Patreon slots um, fill up, then you will lose your chance to get uh, get those exclusive cards. All right. So the Y-Wing is ioned again. Uh, perma I-Wing. Awesome. I'm glad you played with your Nora. Yes. If you haven't seen our cards, uh, they're pretty, pretty awesome. You can find pictures of them. I actually have some with us. Maybe I'll show them off here in a minute. That's two hits on the Y-Wing. So we got a, a crit in there. It's three hole left. Sorry, uh, yeah, three hole left.
All right. All right. It calls the game there. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, that was an exciting game. Good finish. Uh, they call it there a little bit early. And um, anybody who decides to be our patrons, I will kind of take a second here and show off some of the swag we got. Um, so we have our – and some examples. So the Backdraft and Nora, unfortunately, are not available anymore. But we still have our Gold Squadron Y-Wings, which are awesome. Okay. Again – exclusive to patrons some people have gotten these during tournaments um, I have with me Nora Wexley I love that card it looks so good and do I have a backdraft I do okay and backdraft it's right there so um, backdraft and Nora unfortunately are not available anymore uh, but the same artist who did these um, is going to be um, doing the Jess Pava art. So you know it's going to look great. Uh, and the artist who did the Y-Wing is going to be the one who's doing the Quad Jumper. Um, yeah, so patrons get awesome swag. Uh, we talked about the templates and the tokens. Um, and that's that's how I'm able to do this. Um, you know, I've, I've, talked <laughs> I've talked a little bit about uh, how... Um, my wife lets me do this, uh, and re really look at, kind of look at it as a, as a small part-time job, um, it's financed by the patrons. So we get to pay for all the swag, uh, get to pay for all the equipment and the streaming and the traveling, uh, and it's, it's great. It's after 3 a.m. where you are the juice. That's crazy. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, so I can, if you guys want, if you want me to go through the list real quickly that we saw, we had a total of 20, 23 players, something like that. Uh, no, thank you for being a patron. I, I love, I love it. Um, thank you so much, Norm. So I will go through the list here. Um, I'll get the exact breakdown of the, of the top. But we had uh, we had some Canaan Bigs today. We actually had two Canaan Bigs. We had uh, s quite a few defenders. We had a Chair now, uh, two Fen Rao, uh, O Fen uh, Ray Lothal, Jess uh, Swarm Leader Jess, which was on the stream earlier, um, Palp and two SFs, Dash, Dash Blue Ace, and uh, Prototype. Uh, Han Solo, Miranda, Ketsu Bosk, Triple SF. Uh, but I'll be right back. Let me go get those uh, get those standings.
All right, I'm back. Um, uh, yeah, so it, this is uh, We Are Done. Um, thank you so much for everybody who was watching today. You guys are awesome. Um, we're done. The champion is Nicholas Tobin, and uh, we'll get a quick, uh, quick interview with him uh, in a minute if he feels like it. Getting ready for stuff. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. All right, Nicholas, congratulations. You won the uh, Wandering Dragon Store Championship. Thank you very much. So uh, what would you say was the toughest matchup you had today? Uh, probably the triple defenders in the top four cut. Yeah, those, those, are, those things are nasty, especially the deltas being able to move before anything else no yeah, before anything else get that free of a just k turning freely i but i got a few good ion bombs to keep half um two of the defenders out of the game for about three four rounds for me to pick off one of them and after that it bigs lived a lot alive until then so seven rounds of bigs you know i've seen uh in the how many of, my, of your games have i streamed now two or three right uh probably yeah i don't recall and all of them you have used ion bombs to really good effect um no, this is actually the first no. time I've oh, run maybe, bombs. Am I thinking Kyle? Yeah, I'm you're thinking, thinking Kyle. Kyle. Kyle was running bombs. Right. I, th I think you guys are like a, a pair. I'm yeah. Sorry, where where I, is he I, today? Uh, he had a birthday party to go to. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was supposed to show up. There you go. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. It, hap it happens. It happens. So uh, this is, uh, have you won a store championship before? Uh, no, this was my first store championship win. So Dan Semino beat me out the last time. In the final two. Feel good to get that monkey off your back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they don't have to make fun of me for never winning a store champ. That's right, you're right. I want to interject. This man is incredible. Thanks, he is Nate. such a good player. <laughs> good sportsmanship there from Nate. Yeah, man, you, uh, you did a really good job um, on the turn where you did the three turn yep. in front of the Y wing there. The whole, the, everybody in the stream, including me, were like, Hey, hopefully Nate does the three bank to block, oh, yeah. to block yeah. Jess no, off the board. I know. Right? Everybody was just like, all right, here, this is, this is, this this is, is Nate's, this is his chance. Right? No. And we saw the two bank, like, nope, yeah, he's, he's fine. Yeah, no, I saw that coming, <laughs> and I was actually extremely concerned that round because I knew uh, too hard definitely wouldn't have fit, even no matter what Nate did. I thought about three banking away and boosting with okay. Jess just to try to get out of range or attempt to, but I figured she'd be dead in two rounds anyways, and right. at least – this chance, I, if I do make it, I can continue shot. So it was the best opportunity, and luckily he didn't see it. Yeah, for so sure. So after he did it, we talked about it. And like, yeah, I, <laughs> yes, I it mean, was that, good. And that's, it was close. That's something you have to do in X wing, right? Is take take advantage of your opponent's mistake. You, you got to put yourself, line yourself up for for success. And if it well, works out, then it works out. He almost capitalized on my mistake because that one bank with Jess on the turn before is what put me in that weird position. Yeah. Um, but I did that thinking he would three bank to the left instead of two harding to the right mm -hmm. but i did that one bank just i could go wherever he went but it actually ended up being almost too aggressive in a way right yeah 
Wow. Well, that was a hell of a game. You know, you. I know a lot of people were like, oh, TLTs. Right. But it was it was a great. Um, ex- it was a close it game. Was, it was a close game. I think it was really good. A lot of positioning there. Mm-hmm. Um, you had to be real careful on that approach. You're like, yep. I love that you hid Biggs behind that rock. Yeah. Because if he would have been dead. Oh, yeah. No, those, that, those, three, actually, gre- those three greens is what lit him yeah. live for so long. And yes. I mean, I did have to thank my dice for getting some natural greens <laughs> uh, for a few of those rounds. But no, without those threes, he dead a turn earlier. I was a little disappointed that just just hit Nick that, that, that rock. rock. Yes, that was good positioning there. But I knew I had to if I could get her into that range one bubble, and she could get those free shots, and then I can bring Miranda in at the right time. Yep. She didn't go as far as I thought she would have gone. I was I mm-hmm. expected at least one TLT to still hit me, but there were two still shooting. Okay. So that was a little worrisome, but I had to be very careful with my mind. For sure. Yep. Yeah, you saved them and you you dropped them at the wrong time. So yes. One more time, congratulations, Nick. Thank uh, you. Pack up, go home, rest, and go celebrate. Yeah. Uh, gotta do a shout out to my family for letting me be out here all day. Yeah. So. Go family. I mean, it's it's Father's Day weekend, right? It is. T- today today is Father's Day for you, and tomorrow you have to go take all the pictures and do all the yes. family stuff. Yes. I get it. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so it was my weekend, if you want to think about it that way. So. Yeah. There you Thank go. you, Rachel, Jack, and Owen. There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at our next store championship uh, next weekend, I believe, at Grognard Games. Yeah. Are you going to be there? No. Well, not. I have to pick and choose where I go. Okay, good. That means I have a <laughs> chance. <All right. laughs> see you, guys.